Welcome back to Developers Home and today we are learning about how to install external packages into Spark. So you know that we are also learning on, of Spark ETL and with Spark ETL we are dealing with different data sources like MySQL, Postgres, MongoDB. We are also connecting to cloud data lakes like Azure Data Lake Services, Azure Blob, AWS S3 Bucket and we'll be all, all also learning on lake houses and in lake house we'll be working with different data types like Delta, Hoodie, Apache, Iceberg and for that we need external libraries to be installed into our Spark. So the instance which we have currently running in that we have by default few of the packages are already there. So if you want to check what all packages are already installed what we can do is we can go to our spark instance. So now we have here our spark instance. If I go inside terminal and from terminal if I just do ls minus l and now so basically this is the location. Uh, so if you go to opt spark and jars from there you will see all the jar packages are already installed into our spark so we see that we have snowflake packages are already available we have packages available for azure data lake services azure blob aws s3 we have packages for delta so these are the all basic basic packages are already available so you what we have done is with data engineering suite we have this by default packages are available but if in case you need to install mysql or you want to work with mongodb you need to install external packages and for that what we can do is we can go to maven uh, repository and from there you will be getting all the packages so for example if i go to uh, maven repository and if you search with mysql uh, java connector and if you search on this you will be getting it here and here you will see that there will be a multiple versions are available so now let's see if i am selecting latest version and if i go inside so basically it will provide this block and in this block it's providing group id artifact id and version so how to use that into spark so basically you know that when we start spark instance we can also pass configurations with spark instance and in that configuration we can pass that i need these packages so what we say is spark.jar.packages and now we can pass that package so but how to build our package id from this block so what we normally do is group id colon artifact id colon version so in our case we have mysql colon mysql connector java colon 8.0.32 so if we pass that here what it will do is when we start spark instance it will check if this jar file is available if this package is available if this package is not available it will first go to internet download that package and then it will start our spark instance so we can use that package for example you know that if you are so basically sometimes we run jupyter notebook sometimes we run spy spark from terminal and sometimes we submit spark jobs so how to specify these packages if you're running from jupyter lab or if you're running from terminal or if you're running from submitting job so we'll also understand how to do that so first thing is let's say if you are running it from jupyter notebook and you need mysql or postgres sql so as we discussed that with starting spark session we can pass this config so we have passed that config and if i execute this one what it will go is it will just check that from where this package is available is it available locally if not it will check for global and then it will download those packages and uh, then we can use that but in my case it's already downloaded and that's why it's showing that it's already downloaded and number of artifacts required for this is two and which is already there so same way if in case you need packages for mysql mongodb delta apache hoodie you can go to maven repo and from there you can get this group id artifact id and version you can pass it here and it will, it will work now if in case you are running PySpark. So normally if you want to run PySpark, what we do is we go here into terminal and now if I run PySpark, it will start my Spark session, right? But now with this Spark session also, I want to use any packages. So what we can do is with that also we can pass our packages. So for example, 
in this case i am just selecting this one and i will say that i want to start my spark session with postgres sql package and now i will just exit this spark session and now i will start my new spark session with this one so if i do this it will check for postgres sql packages and now it's already downloaded so it says that no need to download but we have these two artifacts are available so it started a spark session with postgres sql libraries so this is how you know that you can do with PySpark. now third is uh, when you want to submit your job and that job is actually using your package so normally you know that for example i have this file available sample.py which is just printing install packages and now if i give you example so let me just go to that location and now cd uh, spark etl so now i have this file he file here so what i normally do is spark submit and then I will say sample.py so it will execute that job but now if in case I also need that package with that uh, job so you know here I see that install package is printed so this job is completed so now with this also if in case I need so same way we can pass packages here so in that case you can use uh, this command so if I go and execute it here so it will also do same thing it will first check this package and then it will submit job so you, you see that's what it does and now it's check and after that it ex also executed that job so this is how you know that you can install your external packages with spark we'll be learning spark etl and we'll be doing different spark projects in future and we'll be required different external libraries so we'll use this as our reference yeah that's all uh thanks for watching and we'll see you in next video